We're on the uh, the last chapter of the book, and uh, this one is about uh, using files. So like uh, creating files, uh, modifying files, uh, just an introduction to that. And I think we're going to be able to stay uh, in the playground here because uh, you're allowed to uh, to quickly uh, create files when you're when you're running a program and then access them uh, at the same time. So uh, I think we can uh, just stay with the with the playground, and uh, we won't have to. Um, uh, but you know, if we have to, then we'll go into this uh, do replet where you can actually uh, it lets you hold files uh, somewhere inside here. There you go. So this is the uh, you know the cargo doc. Um, so it gives you that, but uh, we'll stay in the playground if we can. So uh, first, we'll just um, go over the uh, the result uh, using results and uh, the question mark operator again to uh, to make sure we remember. So if you are let's say um, let's say we're parsing a number and uh, we give it a string and we would like to uh, send back a result, uh, we would say okay, let's uh, we want to make it into an i32. And if uh, if there's an error, then what are we going to do? Uh, well, we don't know the. Let's say we didn't uh, didn't check the error type, so we'll just say uh, we, nothing. But uh, and then we're going to get an error message and say uh, you know it should be returning this sort of error, and then uh, then we'll be able to fill it in. So we'll uh, let's say let's see input parse. Um, and we'll say make it into an i32. Uh, try to return that, and then we'll go down to here. And we'll try to print it out. Uh, it'll be inside of the result, so we need to debug print. And we'll say give number and put in 88. Then we'll do another one. We'll do another one. All right. All right, let's try that again. Copy. There we go. Uh, give another number. And we'll say 11 t 12. So one of those fake uh, JR token numbers. And then we'll we'll run that. And then you can see, uh, hey, uh, you know, didn't you mean a standard result or where where, where is it? Parse int error. That's the one. So don't you mean parse int error? And yes, we do. So uh, so we'll put that in there. Uh, bring it into scope. Uh, where is it? Use std num parse int error that's where it is and then we could change this to a parse int error so we do that and you can see we're uh, we're printing it out so there's uh, this one's okay and this one's a uh, parse int error uh, actually let's uh, move this one up here so we can uh, there's one interesting point about this uh, so uh, so there's that. Uh, now let's say we want to, um, you know, the uh, the question mark operator, and that is uh, used a lot in uh, in opening files because you have a lot of steps. You have, uh, you know, is the file name right? If you add the question mark and then you know try to open the file, that might fail too. So you you chain uh, you chain them with uh, you know uh, the question mark. So you be like open uh, question mark dot whatever and you know keep on going on and on until you finally get to the file and so uh you know if you try to do this here then uh it's going to give us uh, an interesting uh interesting message which is um you know you can only use this in a function that returns result or option and uh and then you uh let's see how much uh, how much information is it giving us here well it's not telling us what to do but um what you do is you actually uh, you can return uh, this from main. Uh, you can return result um, parse int error like that. And the only um, you can return results, and you can also return. Um, of course, you can return nothing from main, and you know every, main always returns uh, this because uh, when you when you don't write anything, because you know that you're always returning an empty tuple if you don't say what you're uh, returning. And um, so this is uh, this is okay. Um, and by the way, I'm just going to copy this out for a second, just to show what happens when you try to uh, return something else. Uh, so let's say main uh, i32, and let's just return a six. It's going to give an interesting message. Uh, it says main can only return types that implement termination, and termination is this uh, this interesting. 
um, experimental trait. It's um, it's experimental, but you it's in use for these uh, for these two types. Uh, nothing and a result, and uh, so it's it's experimental because you can't. Um, uh, I guess only on nightly you can try to implement it, but uh, I've never seen uh, it used for anything except for um, you know, a tuple and a result. And uh, so, and a tuple is what it always returns unless you uh, choose result. So anyway, result uh, can be returned from main. So let's uh, let's change it to that, and then uh, I think that should be fine. So let's uh, let's print that out and see what we get. And uh, that's right. Forgot to add an OK at the end. So you see this uh, at the end of these uh, <clears throat> main functions or um, functions that return a result a lot of the time. So uh, you know it still has to return something, some sort of result. So this uh, you know this will return uh, results. Uh, this will uh, return a result as well. And then uh, at the very end, you know it might get down to here and then uh, we have to uh, give it something so we just give it a, an okay wrapped in a tuple and then you can see it uh, so what it did is it uh, it got down to here and then uh, this is uh, so it gives an error uh, but it's not a panic it's uh, it's an early return so uh, basically when you use the uh, the question mark operator you get uh, you know either either you return an okay or you return an error and that um, <clears throat> so it's basically saying uh, return error, and then it uh, returns the error for this, and then that's the that's the end. Uh, whereas here it's um, it's going to uh, succeed and uh, and give us the actual uh, eighty eight. Uh, so if we uh, if we move this one down, then uh, then you can see it's going to uh, print this out, and uh, there it is. There's the eighty eight, and then it's going to over here in the standard error. Then it's going to uh, return this, and then it's not going to get down to OK. And if we uh, make this into an OK as number as well, then it's going to uh, print both of them. And it's going to return OK, and so each time it's returning, you know, the uh, the result that uh, we told it we're, we're going to give it. So either uh, an OK with uh, with nothing, or it's going to get a parse int error. So just to uh, just a little bit of brushing up there, and uh, in the next video we're going to uh, do something similar with files.